dysfunctional vet. This is a critical review of the Deep Rock drill. I drove to, I believe it's um, Marshall, Texas to buy this thing. We'll start here. When I got home, these two pieces right here were out of whack by quite a significant amount. On this other side, you can see where it was re-welded, it was cut, it was expanded, it was repaired. No cost to me, except that I had to drive back to Marshall to have it done. Had it come to me, I would have had to take it to a welder somewhere who could cut it and re-weld it to where it would last. Although I can weld, I cannot do, um, I can't do the kind of welding that's required for something like this. The other thing that was off, this hole for the lift was off by half an inch. And I had to come back over here and figure out where the center was and re-drill the hole in order for this thing to slide properly. When this thing was not working, he told me it needed to be greased. I greased it and it still wouldn't work. Turned out this was out of whack, got that cut, and it still wouldn't work because this was off by half an inch and being off by half an inch meant that this thing was pulling crooked and it wouldn't work. So I found the center point using a plumb bob. I drilled my hole and I moved this over accordingly and then life more or less was good. Kohler engine. It has always started and worked although I did use ether when I hadn't run it for about two or three weeks or a month due to bad weather. The drilling system itself is really, really good. Um, Mama is protecting her dry food and the puppies don't want it. I just fed them a moment ago. I just fed them puppy chow. The Kohler engine has been absolutely stellar. The transmission that's on it has been absolutely stellar. This, I believe, is a four-man auger, and I'm not sure about that. And then this frame was built to support it. The original, I think it was called uh, Deep Rock back in the day, the original one used a gasoline four-cycle with basically a one-person tra uh, transmission down there for taking the power from 3600 RPM down to about 50 RPM. I have absolutely no complaints with the motor. The frame was a little bit out of whack and like I said had um, this been five or six hundred miles where I couldn't just drive down there in three hours it would have been a real pain. All right, this piece right here is the lift and if you notice that's not exactly how that should go but that's okay. I did have to adjust this motor a couple of times to get it centered again. The guys at the shop had it exactly on money so that it, it was right in the center of the hole, which I'll show you in a moment. But I had to move this and I also put some square tubing in here to help hold it where it was. Um, I'm assuming that when they rig this thing up they have a jig or something to get it exactly on the money. I didn't have that option, so I put some small square tubes in right here and on the other side to square that thing up. Now let's move to the other problem. Some of you are going to see this immediately. I'm going to back this out just a hair. If you notice, this is my um, front point with the articulation, which I'm not going to work right now. And then I have this piece right here that you can barely see. This cable is feeding straight down right here. Because of that, it's putting an unnatural stress on this whole thing, and it's not working right. The line should be feeding in from here, going onto this drum. In this orientation, this is the third cable that I've put on it. 
actually I'm lying to you. I put a nylon rope on here when I was adjusting this center piece here because it wasn't pulling right because this cable, this steel cable is a bear to get on there. But this is the second cable that I put on it and I don't know if you can see it but it's got all kinds of little catches on it. This thing should be feeding in through this. This is oriented incorrectly. I even bought uh, a new one of these because I'm going to repair this. And in the instructions, they talk about the line needs to come in this direction onto this cable. I do not know why this happened, but I could never get this lock nut to lock down and hold the thing. I ended up having to drill a hole through it and run a wire through it in order to keep this nut from coming off. In fact, this nut is just sitting there. If this cable wasn't there, it would fall off. And this is uh, super thin aluminum, easily broken, but it's enough to hold that on and keep the handle on. Now let's look at something else. I'm going to have to really zoom in on this for you to see it. I hope that you can. Let me adjust this slightly. Can you see these teeth right here and right there? And look, well, I don't know if you can see this because of this thing. These teeth are gone. These teeth will not engage with this. Back this off. These teeth no longer engage with this hub. When that happens, you cannot prevent the power head from falling. So you go to change a bit of uh, stem and the power head could fall on you. Not a good thing. Not happy with that. And th all this damage, let me see if I can zoom in on these in just a moment, or these on the hub. All of this damage was caused because this was misaligned. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Okay, here you can clearly see where these teeth have been destroyed by the uh, unnatural pull on this, on this hub right here. Alright, let me give you an overall evaluation of this pump. I don't remember what I paid. It, the price is listed on the website and they do ship. I would tell my recommendation would be ask them to check and make sure that this articulation right here flows smoothly and that that is actually centered where it needs to be before you buy it. The other thing is I would request a custom correction for this and align this up so it's not pulling unnaturally on this thing, causing undue stress on the whole system. As a result of this, this thing failed. Now, I drilled one well that was dry. I, didn't, I drilled down and I hit something I couldn't drill through it. And after, I don't know how many hours of trying to drill through it, I abandoned it. I went ahead and sank the uh, casing that I had because I, I was pretty sure I was into water-bearing soil and it turns up dry. I did get, I do get water out of it from time to time when I've tested it. I'll get like two or three gallons and that's it. So it's not worth uh, maintaining. I'm going to um, dig up the casing and I'm going to uh, backfill it and um, fill the casing with uh, soil of some kind. But I would get a custom fit on this or a custom design where this thing is facing up and altogether I can't tell you how many hours I have on this 
I'm going to say I have less than 65 to 70 hours before this piece failed. I was down at 90 feet. They're going to town, aren't they? Pushing four weeks and they're already becoming bossy. I have less than 70 hours of that, I'm sure. I know that I spent an hour drilling through three feet of some of the hardest clay I've ever drilled into. And the clay was very unique. So this failed after about 70 hours. If you were planning to drill a whole bunch of wells, say you had a lot of uh, livestock and you were wanting to drill down to say 30 or 40 feet, I would tell you to cut all this stuff off and reorient it or have this thing custom built where this piece is facing up so that you can get the life out of your cable and you can get the life out of this without risk of injury. Other than that, it comes with a six inch drill head and a six inch drill head will allow you to sink a four inch casing. I bought a four inch uh, bought a four inch drill I bought a, I bought a four inch bit I bought a four inch bit because I was running two and a half inch casing and that allowed me plenty of space I drilled 90 feet with this thing and it has been sitting here since February 26th I, I completed the well in February I cased it. I started developing it. I was planning to come back over and start cutting all this off and I ended up becoming sick and my illness was proportional to the amount of work that I needed to do and sometimes it was disproportional to the negative of how much I needed to get done. But I'm planning to fix all this up. I'm going to drill one more shallow well down to about 40 feet and put a hand pump on it and then I'll probably end up selling this thing. The well that I have will produce about two gallons a minute. I'm using an RP.